First, before the video begins, let me preface this with saying Omniverse is a great show. It's genuinely entertaining and fun to watch, but I do not have any control over what happens in the show. I can point stuff out, stuff that should be rather blatantly obvious, but I can't control what happens or what affects canon. <laughs> Hello everyone, Skyr from the Geminars channel. For the last time, Omniverse is canonically only canon to itself. It has no impact on any of the previous existing shows. This is an undeniable fact, not a theory. I'm getting really sick of this topic, and this is the last time I'm going to say it, so let me make this as crystal clear as possible. In Universe vs. Tennyson, it is revealed to us that the Celestial Sapien race, not Alien X, but these other guys, are canonically responsible for the retcons made throughout history, art style changes, and voice actors specifically in Omniverse. Anything and everything in the Omniverse art style is inarguably part of this altered reality. As with any alternate reality, it has no influence on the previous one. The fact of the matter is that the Celestial Sapiens altered the entire multiverse, including other universes and timelines, all of history following the Big Bang, the future, higher dimensions, and even themselves. Normally a retcon would be dismissible, it's just a creative change that the new writers wanted to make or something, but by making the Celestial Sapiens directly responsible for the Omniverse retcons, you essentially confirm that these changes are a real thing. These alterations actually happened as an in-universe event. Ultimate Alien and Alien Force were canonically different in-universe, making Omniverse by definition a separate, altered reality. What is canon in Omniverse is not necessarily canon in Ultimate Alien. This is not debatable. Omniverse is a great show, don't get me wrong, at times it's possibly even the most entertaining of the bunch, but that doesn't change the fact it was altered from the original continuity. What this means for the previous continuity is uncertain. I don't know if the Celestial Sapiens created a new one when they altered reality, or if Omniverse replaced the original like overriding a save file. Personally, my interpretation would be similar to that of Crisis on Infinite Earths, where you have pre-Crisis Earth 1 and post-Crisis Earth 1, or in the case of Ben 10, you have the pre-retcon prime timeline and the post-retcon prime timeline. But that part is just interpretation. Is it possible that Ultimate Alien and Alien Force are also altered from the original series? Yes, it is technically possible. I don't know for certain if it is or is not, but Alien Force and Ultimate Alien were originally intended to be a continuation of the original series. Celestial Sapiens being responsible for retcons was not made canon until Omniverse, thereby Omniverse essentially declared itself as an alternate reality. Celestial Sapiens were certainly capable of having altered the reality of UAF, as they discussed in Alien X's first appearance, they could bring back the dinosaurs. But we don't have confirmation if they actually did alter reality or not between OS and UAF. You could argue that author's intent keeps UAF as a continuation, but if it makes you feel better, it is theoretically possible that it is also altered. I just don't believe it is, given the original intent. Omniverse, however, is not questionable. End of discussion. Okay, so you might be wondering, where is the next episode of How Powerful is Ben 10? You can blame depression for its delay. I've not really done much in the sense of work in a long time, and the apocalypse hasn't exactly helped that. I am getting back to working on the series, so hopefully you can expect the next video sometime soon-ish. However, this whole debacle has made me realize a few things. First, the four videos I mentioned before that would cover Ben's strongest, fastest, smartest, and most powerful transformations. Those are going to take a lot more work than I anticipated, and I really want those to come out closely together rather than having long gaps of time in between videos. So I'm going to work on those four videos as much as I can if my mental health can stay positive, and once those videos are done, ideally I would be able to post them weekly for a time until all four videos are posted. But this is likely going to take a really long time, and I don't want to stress too much over them, otherwise it'll just lead to more depression and more delays. So I'm going to be making other videos in the meantime. That being said, the next video covering Ben's number one most powerful transformation should be coming out sometime soonish, hopefully. I'm getting a little tired of Ben 10 scaling, so after that video I'll probably start doing some other things until we eventually get to the four videos. Probably. I don't know. Anyways, that just about does it for this video, thank you all so much for watching, and more importantly, thank you for being understanding. I'll try to get the next video out as quickly as possible without sacrificing the quality.